हेलो एंड वेलकम टू खेवजी थोरा ग्रीन अर्थ दिस वीडियो इज नॉट गोइंग टू बी अबाउट माय मियावा की फॉरेस्ट बट इट्स अबाउट अनदर एक्सपेरिमेंट दैट आई हैव स्टार्टेड एंड आई एम कॉलिंग इट द प्रोजेक्ट 10x बिफोर आई टॉक अबाउट द प्रोजेक्ट लेट मी गिव यू सम फन फैक्ट्स टू न्यूट्रलाइज ऑल द कार्बन फुटप्रिंट्स दैट ह्यूमन लिव ऑन दिस प्लैनेट we need uh, 730 trees per person so this is the per capita uh, requirement of trees in this world currently the number stands at 422 total number of trees in this world at this moment stands at around 3.04 trillion so if you divide the number by the population the average comes out at around 422 so per person we have 422 trees so it's 308 less than what is required so this is the world average so any guesses uh, what is the number for india it's just 28 too far away from the the the, the required average of 730 and uh, still far away from the world average of uh, 422 we just have 28 trees per person so definitely we are heading towards a uh, disaster a natural disaster we don't if we don't uh, take care of uh, our depleting number of trees so how do we uh, increase the number of per capita trees no matter how much the government tries to plant trees around the highways or all the deforestation efforts of government is not going to bear any results because uh, even if every person plants a tree and ensures that it survives will will still be increasing the average by just one so we'll have 29 trees per person so it seems impossible to be to to, to meet that desired number so the only way possible is to if you can engage mass into afforestation to involve uh, a huge uh, population into afforestation and plantation uh just environmental reasons and the threat is not enough uh you need to make this uh, profitable for the for, for the people you have to make it lucrative as per some sources in india uh, we have around uh, 93 million uh, farmer families so the actual number of farmers may vary from anywhere between 100 million to 150 million so what if we can engage all those farmers into plantation and uh, can motivate them to turn a part of their farmland you know into forests then you can actually you know go really close to uh, the desired number of 730 but when i talk to farmers from my area and i ask them why are not they shifting from a crop based cultivation to a tree and fruit based cultivation uh, they gave different reasons but uh, two reasons that really stood out were uh, the time it takes for the transition from crop based to fruit or tree based transition because it takes around 4 5 years or sometimes more than that and uh, second uh, is the economy uh what the farmer is going to do in this 4 5 years if he converts farmland into a forest this where uh, i started researching on on different uh, ways of uh, the transition from crop based to fruit and tree based farming and uh, the method which i really liked and i thought uh, could actually uh, help achieve that was subas palikas uh, multi layer farming method so by this method uh, you don't have to turn your entire farmland uh, into forest but you can just use a fraction of your total land uh, and again the income is still steady 
so maybe from three to six months you start you know getting income from the from the from that piece of land and it gradually increases three to six months you start harvesting one one type of plants within a year maybe another type of plant two to three years you know you have another type of fruits you can harvest four to five years five to six years so this is how uh, you know, gradually you can increase your income and even the first harvest you get from three to six months time it is enough to beat whatever uh, revenue you would have got uh, using the conventional uh, crop based uh, farming this piece of land uh, where i'm currently doing this project is uh, 5760 square feet which is uh, two katha in uh, the measures we use in assam so uh, earlier we used to grow paddy here so whatever uh, revenue we are getting out of this land uh, by sowing paddy here so my target is to achieve 10 times of that in theory it was possible now i'm just trying to do it in pra with, with practical whether i can achieve that number or not so the varieties of trees i have selected here uh, for a plantation other ones uh, which have a commercial value in my local market and uh, the plants which are actually local to my area so depending on uh, where you are from and uh, which uh, fruits and vegetables are commercially of high value in your area you can choose uh, different plants but again i know uh, the 10x number that i have uh, arrived at is uh, for my plantation you know how much i was earning here and uh, how much i'm going to earn in future so that number can vary depending on uh, what you were planting there earlier and uh, what you are going to plant there now the plants uh, that i have selected uh, for my project here are betel nut or areca nut moringa uh, or sesam or drumstick lemon papaya and appleberry so these are my five uh, prime uh, plants that i have uh, started planting here and in between i'll have uh, chilies a local chili bhot jolokia we call it which is one of the hottest chilies uh, found in the world and uh, pigeon peas also i have plans to plant uh, ginger and turmeric as well and in the drains that i have created uh, in between my planting beds i'm planning to plant lemon grass the idea is uh, not to leave uh, any piece of land uh, barren to cover entire plant bed yeah also uh, once the betel nut trees grow i'm planning to plant black pepper on each of those betel nut trees as i said uh, in theory i could achieve uh, the number 10x even more than that but in practical well i may not be able to reach that number because uh, i'm still not a full time farmer i'm just giving a couple of hours each day i still have a 9 to 6 uh, corporate job uh, so let's see how well it goes and i'll, I'll keep you updated as i said uh, the plants that i have selected here is based on the, the demand uh, they have locally so even within assam uh, the price of a lemon uh, varies from place to place in my place it costs around uh, 10 rupees anywhere between 5 to 10 rupees in some places it may not be as costly uh, similarly bhot jolokia in my area costs anywhere between 5 to 10 rupees a piece but again it may vary in other areas so if you replicate my model you know it doesn't guarantee that i will get the same uh, 10x number so it could vary and you have to choose uh, what varieties you need to plant 
so i decided based on two factors you know what is in high demand and uh, what is local the details uh, of my plan the complete plan and uh, what plants i have uh, i'm planting and in what quantity i will provide in the description so you can check it out and uh, you can create your own model based on it as i said uh, it is based on subhas palikar's uh, natural farming method but uh, only the structure is based on uh, his model but i'm not following uh, verbatim uh, his method because i didn't have uh, all the resources available for example uh, uh, cow urine and cow dung since uh, i don't have cow so it was really difficult for me to you know manage those so the structure is based on his model and i'm 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 all for natural i'm not using any chemical any fertilizers or, or pesticides here uh, but the four pillars that he stresses about in his model subhas parikar stresses about in his model uh, bijamrut i have not used jivamrut i have used in, in some quantities and uh, mulching which i'm going to use and wapsa moisture i'll take care of the moisture so these are the four pillars of natural farming so i'm going to use a bit two and a half now let's see how much help i get from the nature thank you for watching i'll keep you posted about this project as well and uh, jai hind joy ayo home